John Long Silver Rails here. Welcome to my Silver Rails channel. Right now I'm running the American Heritage AHM GG1. It's pulling a Tyco operating box car, which I'm experimenting with. I have removed the plastic wheels from the Tyco car. The axle ends are sort of tapered, but not really pointed. I have replaced them with Walder's metal wheels with pointed axle ends. So far, it's working, but I'm a little disappointed because when you put the replacement wheels in an Athern truck, they roll so easily, but that doesn't happen with a Tyco Talgo type truck. Now we're going to do some unboxing and show off some new things here today. These th items here recently came from eBay. I'll show you what they are in a minute. First up is a Lionel HO Banger and a Roostuck boxcar. I got it because I like the color scheme. And I like this particular railroad anyway. It's in the original box. It has couplers on it that are similar to the NMRA couplers, but a little different in that they have this coupler bar here. I don't know just what that's all about. The doors operate. It's a very colorful box car, which I hope to enjoy. And then I have another box that recently came. Well, lately I've been on a Tyco kick, and I have here the Tyco HO scale horse car and depot set. And very well wrapped. Comes in the original box. And it should have in it the, uh, the cattle car, the corral with horses, and the truck. If you look at the back of the box, it has all kinds of Tyco accessories pictured on it, kind of like a miniature catalog. And sure enough, it has the instruction sheet. Some minor assemblies required to assemble the corral fencing and stuff. It has the MRA horn hook style couplers on it. And it has the little truck. And of course, the horses, very small little guys. And it has the fencing that goes with it. So I'm very happy with this. Now, I found out that with these Tyco operating accessories, they have the pickup points here for the operation, and it rubs against a little contact strip that sits next to the track. And the problem is, it won't work with the Bachman Easy Track. It works with the traditional, like Atlas Code 100 HO track. Next, I was given a box of trains by my friend, we'll call him Santa Sam, because we feature his Christmas layout in previous videos regarding the Train Club Christmas Party, and he has a wonderful Lionel and a wonderful HO layout, which is featured in the 2019 Christmas Party video. If you haven't seen it, I hope you'll go there and see it. Now, he gave me these because the story is they don't work. 
but we'll find out. It's a little 440 American. It says Italy, so I think it's AHM or River Rossi. The motor is in the tender with a drive shaft that goes up to the locomotive. It's not getting any power. Maybe a loose wire. Maybe dirty contacts. So we'll have to look at that later. But it appears to be in beautiful shape. And I'm very confident I'll be able to get it to work. It does have the old-fashioned coupler on it, which I'll probably leave that way. It says Virginia and Truckee. So we'll set that aside for a future project. Now we have this, and what this box says, this is a Bachman with smoke. And the note that came with this box says, runs but squeaks. So we'll see what that means in a minute. It's a beautiful locomotive. Nothing else in the box, just making sure. It also has the older traditional NMRA horn hook coupler. It looks like a dummy backup light on the tender. Wire handrails. This is a draw bar right here. No pickup wheels on the tender, so the tender's along for the ride. Here's the instruction sheet. It says Overland 484 and Vanderbilt tender with smoke. I'm sure they mean the smoke is in the locomotive and not in the tender. And here is the locomotive. Watch, I will now put on the track. Whoops, I have to turn the power down because it did run. This locomotive is just beautiful. We don't want to run it though without putting some smoke fluid in it. This says cold fire steam. So this is that smelly smoke that's supposed to remind you of the old days when they really did burn coal. A lot of people don't like that smell, but I do. It brings back memories. I hope the smoke unit works. Yes, it's weak. You can sure hear that. It's in severe need of lubrication. Smoke unit's working, yay! The headlight's working. Wow, does that put out a lot of smoke? Beautiful. So we will get right on that and lubricate it. Now, what else is in the box? Well, we have some very strange passenger cars. They're wood. Was looks like it's solid wood with dummy windows. This one says Pikes Peak, but it also says Rock Island. Plastic trucks with metal wheel. I have no idea about the history of these cars, who made them or whatever. They have the old fashioned couplers on them though. And there appears to be three of them. And of course you cannot illuminate them because they're solid wood, like I said. Rock Island, Mount Evans. I believe Mount Evans is a, one of the taller mountains in the state of Colorado, over 14,000 feet if memory serves. Rock Island, Bear Lake. I don't know where Bear Lake is. But if anybody has an idea about what these wooden passenger cars are all about, please tell me in the comments. We have a shell to a boxcar, 
missing a door on this side. It does have a door on this side, however. And I don't know what I can do with that, if anything. We have a, a roof for the box car. No, it doesn't fit that box car. I don't think. And we have a shell missing one of the steps. And I think I dropped a couple of pieces on the floor, which I'll have to get. Here's a base with Talgo trucks. Perhaps it goes with that box car. I don't know. This is a, looks like an Athern chassis of some sort. You can tell it's Athern by the four mounting holes here. And there's some more locomotives. Lima. Made in Italy. I assume it's AHM River Rossi. Seaboard coastline. It has KD type couplers and it does have the handrails, although this one's out of place. We'll see if it runs. And it does run. Does the headlight work? Can't tell from here. No headlight. Well, yes, it has headlights. Seems to be working fine. I think this is going to be a fine little locomotive to add to the collection. Thank you, Santa Sam. Now we have one that's missing most of the handrails. If anyone knows if my subscribers know where you can get handrails for Athern locomotives, let me know. I say Athern because once again it has the four there. But I think this one may be a, you know, is it a dummy? It may be a dummy locomotive. No road name either. Yes, I think this one's just along for the ride. It is a dummy. Well, we'll put that over here. And there's one more in here. And this one, I'm happy to say, does have the handrails. It has a blue framework underneath. I think it's another dummy locomotive, which means it's not going to run. It rolls nice, though. So, there you have it, folks. Two dummy diesel-type locomotives. A third seaboard that runs great. The beautiful Bachman steam engine with smoke. And this fun little 440, which I really look forward to trying to fix. There is a wire that connects to the locomotive. I suspect it's got a connection issue. Or the pickups are dirty or something like that. We'll get on to that later. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please comment if you know anything about some of these items. Let me know what you think. Oh, here's the question. I'm kind of getting interested in the Tyco operating stuff. Looks like I might have to take up this Bachman Easy Track and start over with Atlas Code 100. What do you all think? At any rate, please like and subscribe. Thank you.